Hello everybody, this is Dr. Tyler Evans from Arite Chiropractic. Today uh, we are coming at you live with the research moment and today we are talking about a paper titled The Role of 3D Printing Technology in the Diagnosis of Eagle Syndrome. What the heck is Eagle Syndrome? Um, well, <clears throat> it's not referring to these guys. Um, we are actually referring to the name of a Odo Rhino laryngologist from 1937 who first described the problem. Um, but what it is, is a calcification of the, let's see, let me get the picture out. Um, it is a calcification of the bone or the, sorry, the ligament that attaches from the base of the skull down to the hyoid bone, so the stylohyoid uh, ligament. It actually runs from right up in here down to the voice box here as a ligament, soft tissue, but what happens in these patients is it actually hardens, um, calcifies. So <clears throat> why is it a syndrome? Why, why is it a problem? Well. What happens is uh, either through a congenital problem where you're born with it or acquired where you develop it in life or idiopathic, they don't know how it happens, um, which it could be like the story, the jury's out, the, the story is not complete on it, they don't really know. They don't know a lot about this um, um, syndrome, um, but uh, what we describe it as and what the way the syndrome comes up is that uh, the the styloid process becomes calcified and it, it has to be longer than three centimeters so it has to drop down really far and uh, it will cause like throat or neck or facial pain as well as a problem with swallowing and uh, it can also cause things like ringing in the ear um, a few other uh, oddities uh, like inability to speak. Um, and so what the way it can is diagnosed is by palpation, so by palpating, feeling the, the uh, ligament there, feeling the hardness of it. And then also uh, they image it on CT scan. So uh, it would look something like this guy, where's my picture, here. So it looks something like this here where the bone is hardened and you can actually see it in 3D. And uh, then, <clears throat> this is kind of an interesting picture. Um, they actually can see it from the inside of the throat. So it'll be, it's basically on the back wall of the throat right here. It's this little uh, bony formation. And that's why it can cause problems with swallowing and uh, pain in the back of the throat and uh, problems with speaking. Uh, so, <clears throat> well, what are the treatments? Well, in the uh, literature here, in this paper that I picked up, uh, the paper here, uh, this is out of the Journal of Medicine in 2018, so it just came out. But these guys, they did a, a 3D CT scan of the neck and they printed off in, uh, in a 3D printer, which is a really cool new technology, this, uh, model so that they could then basically figure out where the bone is at so they could cut it out uh, in a surgery, which is really interesting because um, I've actually seen patients with Eagle syndrome uh, resolve their symptoms under upper cervical chiropractic care. And if you understand the anatomy, that kind of makes sense because if you've had head or neck trauma or you, you've had a problem with C1, this bone right across here, um, so this would be like the back of the throat here, right? So it's the bones back here, uh, and the throat is here in the front. Uh, C1 sits right behind that little uh, ligament that hardens, that calcifies. And so if C1 is out of, out of balance, out of place, it can cause pressure on the arteries and the veins that go down through there and the nerves that go down through there. So... In our practice, we've actually seen patients with Eagle Syndrome get results and uh, relief of symptoms where they wouldn't have to have surgery, where they wouldn't have to have a, a, you know, an in-depth um, 
more aggressive uh, type treatment like that. Um, they've also done things like medications and uh, talk therapy, which, you know, if the talk therapy works, if the medication works, that's great, but, uh, and sur if surgery works, that's great, but if you could do it through chiropractic, that would be, um, you know, a very non-invasive, uh, uh, good outcome. And so, if you have heard of the problem, Eagle Syndrome, it's not referring to these guys, um, although they're really amazing birds. Um, it is referring to the guy that first diagnosed and described the problem here in the ligament that attaches down to your voice box. And uh, we've seen good changes with that in the past where chiropractic could help. So if you know of someone that struggles with that, give them our card or give them our information. Uh, give an upper cervical chiropractor a call. Uh, again, this is Dr. Tyler Evans from Arite Chiropractic in Portsmouth, New Hampshire with the Research Lab Moment. Hope you, have, you, hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you next week.